Alrighty, Team Tuesday is a capacity builder. It's called Capacity Chaos. You have six blocks of five minutes of work. So it's a, every five minutes on that minute, we're going to do a set amount of work looking like this. Coach Pierre is going to start off here with 10 ab mat sit ups. Get that full range of motion in. After your 10 reps there, you're going to flip around. You're going to do 10 push ups. Right, then on the box you're going to have a back rack, kettlebell box step up, 60 for the guys, 50 for the ladies, and respectively 24 for the guys and 16 kgs for the ladies. You're going to move over to the rig, you're going to perform 10 first bars. After your 10 reps there, you're going to move back to the box and get 10 full box jumps. Now there are some movements, Rx Plus, for this whole workout and I want you to get yourself into that mindset of where can I stretch myself. Maybe the push-ups are a lot easier for you than perhaps handstand push-ups but you can manage 10 handstand push-ups or maybe a little bit less than that. Instead of the, the push-ups, get your Rx Plus variation in there. I'm not saying that you should only do the Rx variation or only the Rx Plus. You can move some of those Rx Plus movements into your workout to stretch your capacity a little bit. I would say pace-wise, you want to push hard enough so that you can give yourself some rest within that five-minute block because how quick ever you can manage to finish your reps, the more rest you have. If you're going to use that whole five minutes to fill in that gap, you're not going to have a lot of rest before your next round starting. What is your tip or your pro tip? Uh, Thank you, Coach Louie. Uh, my kind of tip uh, will kind of go hand in hand with what you say. Exercise selection uh, is going to play a big part in the pacing and thus the stimulus. So if you are doing a variation that's too easy, it's not quite going to hit the stimulus, but same thing, if you do a variation that's too hard and you're finding yourself having to break up a lot in the 10 reps, that's also not ideal. You want to be able to do a variation where 8, 9 reps can perhaps your limit and really push towards. We can get that 10 so that we have enough rest period. That's a brilliant tip. It is a capacity builder. You want to be able to choose your movement selection and your movement variation where you can finish that 10 reps very close to unbroken. Although, on every new round, you have to change the order. If you start at the top, for the first one, you work it down to the bottom. On your next set, maybe start at the bottom and work it back up, and then do that flip-flop, flip-flop sequence. Change the order as you go along for those six rounds. Get at a team. Remember, there's an after-body. We see you there.